All right, guys, let's get started. The last two cafes that I've been to, I really wanted to film the 2018 New Year's resolution video, but there was just way too many people. And so this time I came kind of early and there's not a lot of people. The only thing I can't do is film inside because the music's really loud. By the way, it's freezing because it's still winter in Korea. Let's film this quickly and then go inside together. You know, it's almost already the end of January of 2018, but it's still the New Year's and it's better late than never. So I thought, let me share with you guys my goals for 2018. And I know some of you guys might think goals, New Year's resolutions, they don't work. It's not worth it. They're honestly just excuses. And even if you don't follow through, the most important thing is that you try. And stay tuned till the end because I have some things that I will share with you that has helped me in 2017 that I will continue to use in 2018. So for 2018, I have three main words that I will be focusing on for the entire year. And the three words are hustle, humble, and hungry. What I did with the three words that I chose, I define what those words mean to me. And then um, as I go on through this video, I'll share with you guys how I'm gonna turn those words into action throughout the year. Let's start with what these words mean. Let's go with hustle. Hustle for me is basically not being complacent and not being lazy. It's already been five months that I've been in Korea. I'm slowly becoming comfortable with where I am because I'm going to the same job every day and going to the same places every day so I really want to challenge myself this year because I came here with a goal and a dream so I hope that I can hustle in ways like making YouTube videos consistently meeting up with people and just things like that and then humble is to be grateful I think it's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day and forget where you came from how you got here and so I want to be grateful and remind myself every day I'm grateful for the friends and for the people and for the food and just little things like that and I hope that that will change my perspective on how 2018 will look and then the last word is hungry hungry is like what the word means but not for food for knowledge to learn now that I'm done with college it's easy for me to just kind of do the usual get into the same monotonous routine but I'm gonna do my best to stay as up to date by reading a lot listening to podcasts but basically I want to stay hungry to learn and grow even though I'm not in school because Learning doesn't stop when you graduate. It really doesn't. Now that I've shared with you guys three words for 2018 and what those words mean to me, I'm gonna share with you guys how I'm gonna turn those words into action. And basically, it starts with a planner, and I have it right here. I feel like I've always planned, but last year, it was really important for me to use a planner because I had three jobs. When I was a full-time student, university student, I had three jobs. And so I needed to make sure that I was on schedule. Personally, I am the most accountable and um, work well when I write my own schedule. So I'm gonna continue journaling this year. And I really like this planner. It can be any planner from Mold Skin or whatever. I just got this from Starbucks because in Korea they have this like winter promotion where you collect stamps based on how many drinks you get. And I was gifted this. Basically what I do, I break it down. There's kind of like a monthly planner. Ooh, ooh getting cold on the monthly planner i will plan like the overall outline of my goals for this month and things that i will be working on and then it moves on to the weekly side and this is where i will break down everything that i will be doing on this side this is where i kind of keep my three h accountability for it so for like humble i will put this week i am grateful for dot 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 and then i'll make a list of things that i'm grateful for for hustle i'll write to do create videos meet so and so and then for hungry i'll be like finish reading this book by this week or finish reading this much chapter by this week so that's what i do and so far it's been working really great and then at the end there are like notebooks so i'll keep ideas and bullet journal so if i'm trying to be grateful and not spend as much then i'll write things i need things i want and just kind of make a list oh my gosh i'm freezing the last thing is for my age of hungry i have decided to continue listening to the podcast that i have been listening to last year here are my top three i have a lot of podcasts by the way you guys this is free if you guys have an iphone and you have a podcast app don't delete it use it guys it's free really really valuable information from experts go check it out 
Okay, so while I'm already on this one, this is my favorite person and she is my inspiration and her name is Oprah Winfrey. She has a podcast called Super Soul Conversations and basically she talks about really soulful, deep stuff and I love that. There are topics that we can relate to and if you don't have somebody that you can talk about like deep things then you can always listen to this. Here it is, guys. And then my other app is called School of Greatness and this is by Lewis House. I recently found him through a friend and he gives really really cool tips on people that have been very successful in life and he also shares his success like his habits and morning routines which I think are really important as well in our lives things like that. That's his podcast right here. And then lastly I have of course Gary Vaynerchuk. It is the Gary V audio experience. Part of my job is taking part in knowing what is the latest social media apps and trends and he has so much knowledge. Also, he's very he has so much charisma when he talks. It's very entertaining to listen to him. But this is his audio and he talks about he uploads short clips of interviews that he's done or conversations that he has and also there are long long form audio versions where he goes to conferences and is a keynote speaker and you will also get to listen to him speak a full version for free which is awesome because people pay a lot of money to go to these conferences and I like to listen to them when I'm commuting in the subways especially during work hours because I take public transportation in Korea it's really packed and I'm sure it is elsewhere too if you take public transportations but um, I realized that it's really hard holding a book when you're like packed with like millions of people guys it's crazy uh, so I like to just put in something in my ear and learn and make the most of the time that I have don't make excuses about how busy you are you have to learn to prioritize what's important to you and sometimes you gotta sacrifice right I hope that you guys found this video really helpful. I am freezing, so let's go inside.